I have a new video for you guys because Chrissy Teigen is getting dropped by everyone. Macy's, Target, and now Bloomingdale's have all ended their deals with Chrissy, and you know that's gotta hurt. But it's nothing compared to Chrissy's disturbing tweets and the messages she sent to a minor. And now other stars like Lindsay Lohan and Farrah Abraham are sharing their experiences with Chrissy. So let's get into it. Chrissy Teigen is a 35-year-old model and entertainer. She's a mother and the wife to John Legend, who is a musical superstar. They seem like a picture-perfect family from the outside, but Chrissy Teigen's past has come back to haunt her. We've talked about this on my channel because she has been called out by Courtney Stodden for the horrific things that she sent to her back in the day. This along with Chrissy Teigen's other questionable tweets, which we've also talked about on my channel, has led to her losing sponsors and pretty much getting cancelled by Hollywood. If you have not seen my video on her old tweets involving toddlers and tiaras and things like that, definitely go check it out because she is a sick woman and no brand should want her as the face of their products. And that's why she's getting dropped by everybody. First off, Macy's has announced that they are cutting ties with Chrissy Teigen. She had her cookbooks in their stores along with a full kitchen line. The products are named after her cookbook, Craving. So this is the Craving collection by Chrissy Teigen. And it's pretty basic and a little bit overpriced, pretty much what you're expecting from Chrissy Teigen. And if you go to Macy's website, you will see that all of the products are no longer available. Here's another one of Chrissy's products that you can no longer find on Macy's website. But if you go dive a little bit deeper onto their website, or pretty much any product involving Chrissy Teigen, you will see that the reviews are overwhelmingly horrible. The reviews for this set of four tumblers says it all. This person wrote, they are ugly, just like her soul. How could you continue to sell her products when she encouraged a child to take her own life? Another person gave it one star and wrote, bully and needs to be removed. And that's exactly what Macy's did because I feel like they were fully prepared to save themselves and disconnect from Chrissy. Chrissy was also trending because you can no longer find her cookware being sold by Target, which was a huge deal for Chrissy and a lot of money. She had full displays at Target with her face on it, but it doesn't look like the future of cookware is going to include Chrissy Teigen any further. It's bizarre because John was even involved in the campaign for these items. And it makes me think, what does John Legend think of all of this? I mean, knowing that his wife was so aggressively mean and just horrible to all of these young girls online. And I mean, her bizarre tweets alone should be very concerning. Target has put out a statement that they have not canceled Chrissy Teigen's deal, but their contract ended in 2020, and it was just perfect timing for Target to get her out of here while she's being canceled by all of her other sponsors. Target is still selling Chrissy Teigen's cookbooks, but the reviews are awful because she is in hot water. Throwback to the time where Chrissy Teigen dressed up like a Target worker and went into Target, and it just reminds me of how like celebrities will go and try to work a normal job for a day and they struggle so hard at it. I hate it when they act all humble and exhausted after doing something like this. Like, you know, millions of people out there aren't doing this every single day for hours and hours and such little pay. But anyways, it's not just Target and Macy's that is cutting off Chrissy Teigen, but Bloomingdale's was about to sign a contract with Chrissy Teigen, a huge contract, and they pulled it last minute. They were going to have a book deal with Chrissy Teigen where she would go into stores and she would host events for the book and sign them. But it looks like nobody really wants Chrissy Teigen signed cookbooks anymore. And actually this comes as no surprise because Bloomingdale's and Macy's are owned by the same company. So I'm assuming they have the same morals and do not want to work with Chrissy ever again. Maybe Chrissy could have saved herself if her apology was better, but it was so bad and just trying to excuse herself as a troll isn't good enough. Actually, let's go ahead and revisit her apology real quick. If you do go to Twitter, you will see that her bio says, Demotivational Speaker. 
I'm not too sure what that's supposed to mean. I mean, obviously she's not a motivational speaker, but mm, what? Her apology is absolute crap. I mean, she starts off saying, not a lot of people are lucky enough to be held accountable for all their past BS in front of the entire world. That kind of sounds very sarcastic to me. Like, what do you mean, lucky? She's obviously not lucky, and it seems like she's mocking this situation and the importance of it. She wrote, I'm mortified and sad at who I used to be. I was insecure, attention-seeking troll. Which again, doesn't excuse any of that. And I feel like when someone is trolling, like you messaging Courtney Stodden and telling them that you want them to take their own life, that's not a troll. Like, trolls don't do that. She also claims that she tried to reach out to Courtney and she has, you know, no beef towards her. But that is frankly not the truth. Courtney called out Chrissy because Chrissy still has Courtney blocked on Twitter. And Courtney also acknowledges that she believes that this apology was just to save Chrissy's behind with all of her sponsors. But it's not just Courtney Stodden who was bullied by Chrissy Teigen. So many people out there. I mean, she was such a savage on Twitter in the worst way possible. Lindsay Lohan's mother actually stepped into the room and she told Fox News that she's done with Chrissy Teigen and it's about time that she learns a lesson. I'm not too sure what prompted Lindsay's mother, Dina, into speaking out about this situation, but she decided to call Fox News and give them a statement. She told them, as a single mother of four children, I have raised them to be kind, humble, and non-judgmental. That being said, I will not judge her words towards others, but I stand firm in one looking into oneself and continue to learn and grow. Hashtag own you. I'm not entirely sure what type of message Dina was trying to send Chrissy, but she did want to remind Fox News of the horrific tweet that Chrissy Teigen sent out to Lindsay Lohan. Chrissy wrote, Lindsay adds a few more slices into her arms when she sees Emma Stone. Oh, sorry guys, it's hard for me to read that one. I just hate think, like talking about those things, but that is just so gross that she would tweet that to Lindsay Lohan and for what? Just to make her feel worse about Emma Stone and to create competition within Hollywood? It's like nobody's asking Chrissy for her opinions. And actually one of Teen Mom's originals, Farrah Abraham, is also speaking out against Chrissy. She also went to Fox, and I'm not too sure what's going on with Fox. Are they, like, trying to investigate Chrissy or something? But she spoke to them, and she shared her thoughts on the whole situation. Chrissy tweeted about Farah and wrote, Farah now thinks she's pregnant from her tape. In other news, you're a blank, and everyone hates you. Whoops, not other news, sorry. Farah told Fox News that she claimed that Chrissy never reached out to her for an apology. However, she would not accept an apology from Chrissy, Wendy Williams, or Dr. Phil. They're all dysfunctional, toxic, and should not have TV shows influencing hate in society. I do agree with Farah that I believe that Chrissy probably shouldn't have the platform that she has, and I'm glad that her sponsors are taking notice because we, as consumers, will recognize when we see Chrissy's name in the store, we're like, oh, why are they selling this? It's just not a good look. And there are so many other tweets out there, guys. Remember, I have had a few videos go up about Chrissy, so definitely go check them out. But I found one other tweet I want to share with you guys. It's about Sarah Palin, who was a representative back in the day. I don't think she is anymore, but she was a representative in Alaska. And Chrissy tweeted out, listen, I don't want much from Sarah Palin. I just want her to admit partial fault, then harm herself in the face. Is that wrong? Yes, Chrissy, if you have to ask whether it's wrong, it's probably wrong. And whether you agree with her politics or not, you should never wish that someone boom, boom, boom themselves in a face. Like, that is just so horrible. And it showed, I mean, it shows me that Chrissy Teigen has no worry or concern when it comes to telling people to go harm themselves or take their own lives, which that's very problematic that she's just not concerned about that. So I'm going to continue to hold Chrissy Teigen accountable. And I'm glad that these big brands are doing the same. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have a peeled box package item to open for you guys. It's from Meredith and it looks like she has an art shop. It's called Mare's Art Shop. And it looks like she's in the United States. So let's go ahead and open it. I am getting better at opening packages because I used to just like try to rip them open, but now I'm realizing that there are flaps that are made for opening. So we're getting better over here. So let's go ahead and read what she sent me in. Mm, it smells good. Why does it smell good? Okay. 
So she sent me this letter. It has like little blue roses on the outside and she's got a little felt sticker heart on it. So let's go ahead and see what she wrote. Sloan, my name is Mare, pronounced like pear. Oh, I love that. And as a survivor, I cannot tell you how much your videos mean to me. Spreading awareness and giving other survivors a voice is so important. I want to thank you for that. Please continue to make videos, but please remember to always take care of yourself first. The crystal on the necklace is called Late Lapis, and I chose it because it reminds me of your beautiful eyes. Oh, my Etsy is called Mare's Art Shop. I sell necklaces like yours, as well as paintings and bath products and stuff. Also, my Instagram is Mare, M-E-R, period, E. I love you, son. Oh, thank you. And there are lip scrubbies um, available. So definitely go check out her brand. You guys know we love um, a small business and supporting small businesses. And let's go ahead and see what she sent me. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Oh, and she sent me the lip scrub too. Oh my gosh, I'm hype. Okay, so here is the packaging. I love this little like bag. I've never seen one where they have like print on it like this. I see a lot of those like type of bags, but I've never seen one like this. And then, oh my gosh. Okay, so she sent me right here this bracelet which i love i could use more bracelets in my life guys this says sloan and oh, yes i love that thank you oh my gosh custom too and then it looks like here is the oh, this is so sweet so here's the necklace she sent me and it has a blue stone on it at the end which is so pretty it has like little gold flakes kind of on it and then it has a little tag that says hope oh that is so sweet i love that like this outfit would be so much better with um, a necklace on i can't Okay, and then it looks like she sent me a sticker here. Oh, cute. Again, guys, I have the best sticker collection ever. Like, let's make a collage. And then she sent me, ooh, little lip scrubs right here. So let's go ahead and try those. She sent me, oh, wow, there's a, there's a see-through stone. I almost didn't see the crystal in here. Look at that. Wow, that is so nice. Thank you so much, Mare, like pear. And here are the lip scrubs. So let's go ahead and try this one out. It's called Coconut Almond Lip Scrub. I don't know how to do it. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mmm. That tastes like coconut. Wow. May I do that? Mmm. Mmm. I like that. Wait, hold up. I don't think I'm doing it right. I'm gonna have to watch a video. Like this movie? <laughs> like, oh, what's going on? Anyways, thank you so much, Mare, for all of this. Packaging on point. Gifts are amazing. I love this. I can't wait to wear it. I can't fit it over my big head, but it works for now. And thank you so much for these lip scrubs. I don't know how to use them. I'm going to figure it out, but go shop her little Etsy shop below, and I will see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys.